What is BAM and what is used for? BAM is a naming convention for classes in HTML and CSS to keep your code organized and maintainable. But what is a maintainable code? Maintainable code means that you need less time to make a change without affecting other things. If you're doing small projects, it's not a big deal, but if you are here because you want to work as a web developer, you should start using it because you will be working with other developers in larger projects and even if you don't, it's always a good practice to have a well-organized code. BAM is the most used naming convention in the last year according to the state of CSS 2020, which is a survey that is made every year. BAM stands for Block, Element and Modifier and they're also called BAM entities. So what is a block? A block represents an object in your website. It describes its purpose. What is it? A navbar, a button, an image, a menu. You set the urinal properties that will be shared even if you use a modifier. Some properties that you can use in a block are font family, text align, width, height, position, padding, margin, etc. And what about an element? An element also represents an object, but this object is always part of a block and it is always inside of it, not outside. The element name is separated from the block name with a double underscore. And what is a modifier? A modifier defines the appearance, state, or behavior of a block or element. The modifier name is separated from the block or element name by double hyphen. In other words, block and elements are the shape and the modifiers are the style. If you're going to use the VEM methodology, you have to know about mixes. But what is a mix? If we have an element that can be reused on other places, that's when you can use mixes. For instance, we have this button element that could be used anywhere on a page. You set the general rules on the block and then you create an element with the specific properties for that block. Now I'm going to explain this in an easy way using uh, the original code. Okay, so let me show you. This is the HTML and this is the CSS. So card block. What is that? This is the card block. Okay. Next thing, card image. Uh, this is an element. The image is an element. The card is the block. Okay. Element inside a block. Element inside a block. Element inside a block. So let me show you. This is the element inside a block element inside a block element inside a block elements inside a block but they're also blocks because you can reuse them outside this card this block so that's why we are using mixes here okay this is a mix basically a mix is um, a block and element at the same time okay so let's go now uh, let's go to the CSS so let me show you what I did okay this is not important here the background is wide the width and the height the border to make it a little this little gray dark gray border okay border radius to round the corners uh, the box shadow to create this little shadow in here and the padding to create a padding here so next thing the image the way the height the border and the border radius yeah with height border and border radius sorry for my dogs <laughs> um, the heading just uh, uh, the font weight to normal because it was um, bold and I didn't like it. Uh, the margin 16 pixels from the top and bottom and zero in the left and right. Uh, the same thing for paragraph. We only changed the font size to 20 to make it bigger. And the button here we have uh, the mixes. Basically, uh, we set the general rules uh, for the button in the block, and then we add new uh, uh, properties uh, in the element. So 
because if we are going to reuse this button, I don't think we are going to use the same margin or the paddings. Maybe the paddings, uh, yes, but not the uh, margins. So that's why we don't set the margin in the block. That's why we set it in here. Because it's the margin in here. Okay. So uh, now we have the modifiers that only changes uh, the style of the buttons, the background in this case. Okay. Background, um, it is like a, a dark gray and the text is white. And then we also add uh, a background white here because the default is like a little gray. I don't like it. So let me show you. Uh, let's do this. So let me show you really quick. As you can see, it's uh, like a gray color. So that's why we put the white there. So I think that's all.